Now, as we mentioned, the season kicks off at BCSN tomorrow night. Mike Jewell and I on the call for Wait at Norfew tonight. Here is Coach with a look ahead in Jewel's Gems brought to you by PNC. And so it begins again in 2018. And this week, bonus Thursday night football, kicking off the season a full 24 hours early is young, energetic coach Brian Lee brings his weight Indians, 3-7 and seven last year, into Northview to take on Tug, Doug Downing's 8-3 and three Wildcats of a season before. It will be a fun football game. Last year was kind of intense, 24-7 with a lot of good plays defensively. The Wade Indians looked strong and carried it through the rest of the season, but what the Northview Wildcats did was nothing short of magical. And it's now meaningless. Week one, what we get are two young, energetic football teams in a fun City League NLL matchup. And let's take a look at the keys for both teams. The Northview Wildcats, Goner, Leach, and Hullabarger. But what remains are some real assets. We start with perhaps a rather strange position. But kicker is something special. One of the three best in the state. He means a lot to the Northview Wildcats. Maybe their most indispensable player. I love Matt Fortner. Sophomore last year, third team all state, Trent Sims. That type of athlete needs touches. And I love what Coach Downing and the staff has done. The best way to get your guy's touches is put him at quarterback. Brian Lee remains one of my best memories in the city league. He was one of those linebackers with the start Spartans, with eyes that saw all over the field. He's an old soul, and he has come in to the east side with an energy, a passion, and an intelligence that is nothing short of astounding. I saw him play opening scrimmage against Faustoria, so I don't have numbers and I don't have names. Pratt stands out, and I like him at quarterback. He's an athlete. They're going to be able to get the ball out in a throwing motion, and they will run the ball. Defensively, they're going to fly 11 men to the football, but they're both young. They're both inexperienced, and they will bring it for a fun Thursday night extravaganza to kick off the high school football season.